And now we come to the group of ovals. The first one is going to be VO. We have the instroke and make an oval shape. And then the halfway underturn that we already know from the V and the W, etc. Now with the instroke for oval shapes, we don't want the instroke to go all the way to the waistline. So you want to shorten that just a little bit. This O looks a little anemic, so we're but um, we're going to continue. Okay, so the instroke goes two-thirds of the way up, and then you make the oval for the A and an underturn arch. Do that again. Light instroke, two-thirds of the way, build the oval, and stop, and add the underturn arch, coming all the way up. The D is very similar, in stroke two-thirds of the way, build an oval, and then it's a little taller than the, the T. We are coming all the way up and we have to kind of measure, go to the right a bit because you know when you press the nib down, the downstroke is going to be thick and we want the downstroke to meet the oval on the right hand side, so we have to kind of up our visual line a little bit, go just a tad over, and then heavy downstroke following the slant line. The G, can you tell the components? It's the instroke and the oval and the underturn loop. Release just before the descender line and come up in a nice hairline that curves around the base. In stroke, oval, and underturned loop. Heavy down, curve up, light, and over. The Q is a little different. We have the instroke and the oval. Okay, not liking that one. I'm going to start again. And the downstroke curves to the right, kisses the stem at the baseline, and then comes up in a light upstroke like the exit stroke that you're already familiar with. So we curve in, we have the oval, and then starting at the waistline, come down in a downstroke, release just before the descender line and curve up, kissing that baseline there at the stem. And we want to make sure that the bowls from the overturn and underturn loops are a good size. So the one in the middle there is a little bit anemic. This one's better. Just checking for the guidelines. Okay. The E, again, have a slight in-stroke two-thirds of the way, and then you want to make an overturn loop the size of the X height. So you don't want to go all the way into the ascender space, but you want to make a condensed L. Start at the middle of the X height, loop out and over, and your heavier downstroke is going to cover that connecting line from the instroke. And the C, you want to start at the 2 o'clock, you come down a little bit to create a point and then make an oval, except you don't meet the starting point, you overshoot it a little bit. So you have the instroke two-thirds of the way, and then you come down a little bit over the heavy downstroke and overshoot just a little bit because you don't want to close it for the C, you want it to connect to the next letter. 
here's the example of what it would look like if your instroke came all the way to the waistline. You see how it kind of sticks out at the end of it? So that's why we're having it only for two-thirds of the space.